If you're watching this, then future Neil must have pulled something off, because present Neil is currently debating the point of no return in this project. We're at the point where we're about to start cutting some axles, because we don't have a choice. The funny thing is, I built a machine similar to this about seven years or so ago, and I should have remembered this. This is a 36 inch axle. This is spread as far as it possibly can go mounting these lawn tractor tires. That is where the gear with the keyway lines up. And obviously you can't run chain through the sidewall of a tire. Now we could go with thinner tires, but I don't want to. I wanna go with a standard 18 wide lawn tractor tire setup. So what we're gonna do is we are going to slice off this axle, push this all the way in, we're gonna weld it, and that gets rid of this, which gets rid of two things. One, it gets rid of the chain problem, and two, it gets rid of this running into this piece of axle problem. Now, if you notice, I've got another set of gears here. And I think that's because we're going to put this big old 30, or what is this? Yeah, 30 onto here. Because once I weld something on there, I'm basically committed no ifs, ands, or buts. So we're going to put the biggest thing that I have on hand right now there. We've got this to go on this axle here. Now, you can go about two or three sizes smaller than this. So we can get to the point of a 30 to like an 11 tooth, if I remember right. And I also have a tensioner, an idler to put on here in order to tighten this up as it stretches. Now in an ideal world, we would have this right about here in the system. We're not going to do that. We're going to put it right about here in the system. I'm going to set it up so that the axle is passing just over the top of this rear section here. And then that way I can weld a piece onto this, bring it out just a little bit, and we maintain being able to still use this tractor around the yard. Now, as you notice... There's a chain drive gear here and nothing on this side. What I did before I realized I needed to slice the axles off shorter was I came over here and I made a plate and I welded a hub on so that that way this side was locked up which made the differential essentially turn into a 90 degree gearbox going to that side in order to drive our axle back here. What I'm gonna do at this point is just commit. I'm just going to grind this off. I'm going to 90 degree this down to the axle, drill a hole, put it around the axle and weld it. At this point, we're committed. We're destroying two axles. It is what it is. We're going full bore now. Anyways, so we're going to end up with a 30 to like a 15, which means in theory, future Neil and John saw about 15 miles per hour out of this thing. Hopefully I was right.
There we go. All right, so obviously we need to reinforce the back end. I'm not gonna bother jumping chain and destroying a perfectly good chain. <laughs> this thing is eating oil massively. Um, <laughs> it's purging oil out the exhaust, so I'm pretty sure that the rings are gone. But it's good enough for the testing we're doing. Anyways, thank you for following the project. We're gonna reinforce it and try it again.